Have you ever wondered how to make the perfect eggnog? Well, I have the perfect recipe for you. It's been in my family for over 50 years and we call it Merry Christmas. And it certainly makes our Christmas very merry. In fact, it's quite a simple recipe and I'm about to show you exactly how to make it. I first started off by separating six eggs into the egg whites and the egg yolks. So I'm gonna start by putting the egg yolks into my mixer. And I'm also going to add three-fourths of a cup of sugar. And we're going to put that together. And then we'll lock down the KitchenAid and turn it on. We're just going to beat these until they're a nice, bright yellow color. And that looks perfect. So we're going to actually mix everything in the punch bowl together. So not to make any more messes with any other dishes. So let me take this bowl and we'll just take the egg yolk and sugar mixture and put it in the bottom. Eggnogs and punches are fantastic at social events. It enables you to enjoy your company and have your guests have a self-serving bar. So it's a win-win for everybody. So now that we've gotten pretty much all of this egg yolk mixture out, I'm going to actually wash the bowl. It's very important that you wash each, each step just because we want the egg whites to be nice and fluffy. So we wanna make sure that none of these yolks are still in this extra uh, bowl. So let me go do that real quick. Now before I start again, I'm actually going to rinse them off with cool water because I don't want the bowls to be hot from after washing them. And I certainly, while working with eggs, don't want to mix that consistency of warm. So we're gonna get this dish nice and cold again. So let's get to the egg white mixture. So we wanna make sure that these are nice and fluffy. So we're going to put back our device on our front mixer and add these egg whites to the bowl. And then again, just lock it down and start to go. This usually takes about three to five minutes just to uh, get the consistency going. And just keep your eye on it and watch it until it gets nice and fluffy and we'll stiffen up. You'll see it actually come to life. Yeah, much better. You just want it to be nice and fluffy and be able to uh, stand on its own. So you can just pick it right up. So, Let's get our egg whites mixed in with our egg yolks. Just pour that nice fluffy mixture in there. Perfect. And again, we're gonna wash the bowl one more time. And make some heavy whipping cream. We're gonna take a pint of whipping cream and just keep in mind that you wanna keep all of your ingredients as cold as possible before you make them. Um, so make sure that everything is refrigerated. And I always get everything in, in a line and pre-do everything, put it in the refrigerator, get myself ready to roll, and that way it's a piece of cake. So we're gonna lock this up and turn it right back on. And we are gonna whip it, but we're not gonna whip it into actual whipped cream. We just want to make it a nice medium bodied um, whipped cream. So not too, too fluffy. Perfect. This is exactly how we wanted it. Um, as you can see, it's nice and, and creamy, but it's not as stiff as the uh, egg whites. So this is a perfect, perfect balance. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna mix this into our eggs, um, both of the yolks and the egg white mixture. And last but not least, I have just a pint of milk and also the alcohol that we're going to add to it. So we're gonna add the pint of milk in, just to richen it up. 
and I'm using whole milk and heavy whipping cream so this is definitely a part of the holiday festivities we're using the good stuff and um, right here what we have is we have a cup of brandy we have a cup of spiced rum and we also have a pint of um, Jack Daniels whiskey so we're gonna add this in here so I'm sure that you can tell Perfect. why everybody's very merry on Christmas. So let me just mix this in and we're gonna just fold it. So just lightly fold it around. So I happen to be very fond of um, nutmeg. So I'm going to add fresh nutmeg as a garnish um, to the cup of eggnog. And I'll leave it out for my guests to enjoy that way as well. Beautiful. So let me grab a cup of this, which I'm so excited about. I love this. I look forward to it every year. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, great little consistency. Oh, so nice and so frothy. Just take a little bit of that. Can't help but take a taste. That is perfect, just the way that my grandma makes it. So let me just take a nice little bit of fresh topper by putting the nutmeg on it. Beautiful. And here's to having a very Merry Christmas. Cheers.